Who the fuck was that? I don't think that I'm ready for this episode. How was that last episode not a finale? That's what I want to know. God, poor Ezekiel and Carol. I can't imagine. Fire's raged. The rot spread. God, it destroyed everything, huh? It's knowing when to keep fighting it. Carol better be the one to behead that bitch and put her own head on a pike. On the storms to come. God, I can't imagine how Lydia feels though, knowing that she's gotta get these folks to help out. Kind of responsible for all of this. I mean, not that it's her fault, it's not her fault. It's no one's fault by Alpha, but in this place. No. I cannot believe that they fing killed Henry. And Tara, like Henry and Tara, and eat it. Like, what the f Oh. So some people commenting whether we think Sadiq's story was real or not. That thought never crossed my mind that that wasn't what happened. Why would he lie? They look so cool in their coats, though. As we head into an uncertain future, Mm. We must be valiant too. This like hurts my heart. I'm not gonna lie. Holy shit. Oh, I got goosebumps. That shot was really cool. That was cool. Whoa. And still nothing from Maggie. The council sent another letter, but we haven't had anything back. Well. God, imagine Maggie's shock when she finds out Tara, Jesus, and Enid died. Haven't they done enough to us? Hi. Don't take it out on her. To lay off. Daryl's gonna be like a father figure to her. So I don't want to cause any more problems. <clears throat> well, it's kind of too late for that, so you might as well just stay. I'm sure she's gonna do something that like solidifies her spot in the group. Every time I look at her, all I see is him. I bet it's hard for Carol. Because her son would be alive. You see when you if it away. wasn't for him meeting this girl. God, this is so cool. I waited for snow in the show for so long. Still trying to get that ham radio We're working. Dead. Well, we can't leave Negan. Yeah. He'll freeze down there. Let the boy out. We have to let him yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Let that man's out. God, that looks cool, huh? Hell yeah. You're such a cool duo, though. And it'd be easier if it was just us. <laughs> Excuse me? You think that's what Carol wants? Carol wants the same thing I do. To hold our son again. Okay, but... I just want to get back a piece of what I lost. What yeah, but lost. isn't that just repressing that connection that they have if you just separate them? Thank you. Think you could get you know how many times they've been separated and they meet again and it's like no time has passed? It's not gonna do anything. That's just stupid. How can you ask him that? He loves Carol. What is she doing? Trying to get lost because she thinks they don't want her there? I'm kind of growing to like her as a character. I still don't fully trust her, but I kind of like her. What is she doing? Trying to get bit? Daryl's gonna grab her, I feel like. He's gonna come up behind her and grab her. Come on, Daryl. Come on, Daryl. No. Stop. No. If she does this, all of their deaths are for nothing. Like, she, like, that's so, I mean, not, not to say it's selfish that she wants to, like, kill herself, but these people died for her to stay here. And now she's gonna, like, give that up? Like, no, come on, girl. Oh, Carol. Oh, that's cool that it's Carol, because, you know, Carol doesn't especially like her. People actually lived here. Welcome to the sanctuary. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, shelter, shelter, though, you know what I'm saying? All bored shitless, but... Language! Sorry. Sorry, kiddo. But, I mean, we've got ourselves this hot little love quadrangle here to entertain us. <laughs> you know what? You're right. That is a very mature attitude, father. 
He crabs, cracks fall. himself up so bad. <laughs> Still worried about that mutt? I swear to God, if something happens to the dog. It's a gas. Get away from there. Oh, shit. And it'd be unwise to spark another blaze, lest we plan on ceasing all respiratory functions, a.k.a. smoking and choking. <laughs> Seriously? Not one of you assholes is going to untie me? We could tell Michonne it was an accident. <clears throat> She gonna tell him about Lydia? Something happened oh, back there, there with you and Ezekiel. No. Tell the truth. He only blames you because he can't let himself blame me. How is that fair to blame Daryl about it, though? I'm really trying to hang on, but I don't. It's so hard to see Carol done. break because she's never the one that breaks. A straight shot through Alpha's territory. We didn't agree to those borders. Those borders are Yeah, and then they're gonna start a fight. It's cold comfort if we trigger oh my a war. God. Could dump enough snow to make these rules impassable for weeks. It's either we shit at the way station. We die. I hate this plan. This is a terrible fucking plan. The kingdom fell. It's not your fault. I should have seen it come and gotten us out sooner. My people wouldn't be here like this if it wasn't yeah. for me. No, they wouldn't be. Because they wouldn't be Did here. Did more from them than they could do on their own. It means that these people aren't just yours anymore. They're ours. Yeah. And That's we're going to get them all. If they see us crossing that border, yeah, it but what if they something. do? Then what? They should have all zombified themselves and walked across like zombies. Put on the masks. Put on the skin mask and give them a taste of their own medicine. Oh, this is like so eerie. <gasps> Dog! <gasps> oh my god, she's so loud. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and you can't see more than like 10 feet in front of you. Is Negan gonna save her? Find her? What is happening right now? What in the world? Oh, they're frozen still. Hey, Carol where's needs Lydia? To talk to her. I'm gonna go find her. You can get everyone across. I'll be right back. Are you All right. fucking Let's serious? Move. What the hell? They're just coming out of the ground like no one's business. How are they not frozen? <laughs> Holy shit, this is really intense. Holy shit. Is it them? This is like intense. No. It's gonna make everything better, but it's not gonna change shit. You better talk to her. Me back. If they hadn't taken me in to begin with, all those people would still be alive. They need to have this conversation, though. And get it all out there. Do you see it? Nothing is going to be fixed. No one else has to know. It's not going to fix anything. It's not going to make her feel better. It's not going to do anything. He's ice cream. <laughs> Your icicle. Yes. 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 The fact that we just got an icicle kill. <laughs> yeah. This is how you keep from losing anyone else. <clears throat> Not even though. You know how pissed Alpha would be if they, she found out that Lydia died on their watch? She's gonna start all over again. Come on, Carol. Henry wouldn't want that. Oh. <sighs> We have to go. Whew. Come on. Oh my god. Oh. See that right there was Carol getting out 
the feelings that she had about the situation and accepting the reality of it and letting it go. That is an amazing fucking woman right there. She knows Lydia is responsible. She knows that if this didn't happen, if Lydia didn't join the group, everyone would still be alive. Her son would still be alive, but she's still forgiving her and taking her in and doesn't want her to die because she knows that she didn't directly do it. I love that they're making Negan go after Judith. Oh my god, she's so frozen. Oh, put that hood on her. Cover her head. Carrying dog and carrying Judith. Are you okay? Okay. Oh. Just trying to get a little extra Negan time, aren't you? <laughs> Tell you something, kid. That dog, you better poop little gold nuggets. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get out of this weather. Alright? Oh, I love this. Come on, dog. Dog and Judas. And Negan. <laughs> the fact that he's so solid, he can just smash his head like that. I'm going to Alexandria tomorrow. Oh, shit. But I will never stop loving you. Damn. This is fucking sad. And I'll never regret the fight. Are they actually, like, breaking up right now? Ah. Uh. But Carol's the type, though, like, she needs to, to find herself before she can do this. And if she's not okay with herself, She's not going to be able to be with anybody. Oh. She better tell Michonne that Negan's here again. There he is. Oh. How about we just end the episode here on a happy note? Nothing bad happens. We're just having a snowball fight. Well, I wonder if she's going to thank him. Thank you. She did it. For saving her. Oh. I always did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> Was everyone okay? Are they about to become friends? Do you care? Yeah. It sucks ass. <laughs> The sanctuary is a shithole now. <laughs> well, hell, I could have told you that. All you had to do was ask. I really hope Negan's like free next season and gets to fight with them. That'd be so f cool. I wish she's gonna sit and talk to him. Facing evil brings good people together. Same thing. It's just that no one ever thinks that they're the evil one. <clears throat> Damn. That's true. Wish we could have gone one episode Time without seeing this bitch. I'm sick of her. Mm. Just gonna whip her. What the f These people are fucking crazy. So you think inflicting pain is gonna make you strong? Who knows what glorious summer may bring? Oh. Maybe you can even go back home to the kingdom Congrats. someday. Just because we left our house doesn't mean we lost our home. Roger that. Oh. I have to go do my homework now. <laughs> I'll call my mom and say hello. Oh, I love that. They found they have a way to communicate, though. What? Oh, I have goosebumps. Who the f was that? Who was that? They said, is anybody out there? All right, there we go. That was the season nine finale of The Walking Dead. Phenomenal. I mean, this season was incredible and one of my favorites that they've ever done. We've obviously lost some, some main characters and Rick, obviously, which was not easy. Uh, and to be completely honest with you, when I found out he was leaving, my immediate reaction was end it. Just don't push this out just because it's a moneymaker and it's a big franchise. Like, just end it 
end it on a positive note, end it with Rick, let that be it. But the things that this new showrunner has done for this show took it from like a, it was really high and it went like low, 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 and then just went right back up. And I didn't think that that would be possible without Rick, and she did it. She fucking killed it. And this season was phenomenal. The Whisperer's storyline was terrifying in all the right ways. I'm, I'm butthurt that Alpha didn't die in this season finale, but they're too big of like an evil to just end that in like the half of the season that they were in or whatever it was. Um, so I get why she didn't die this episode. However, it is going to be so satisfying to watch her die. And I hope that it's Carol that gets to do it and puts her fucking head on a pike. Oh my god. Um, I really like the character development with Carol and Lydia in this episode. Lydia just wants to die. She's blaming herself for everything and she thinks that, you know, this is going to go away if she dies. But the thing is, don't make them die for no reason. They died to protect Lydia. And if she just kills herself, it's like, well, what did they die for? They died for no reason, you know? And if she did kill herself, Alpha would find out and blame them for it and come for them even harder. Her dying would do nothing good for the group. And I just loved seeing Carol go from like not being able to even look at her to going up to her, kind of taking a moment to consider, maybe I should kill her, maybe that'll make my pain go away. Just like that, she's like, you know what, no. And she takes her hand and, and takes her away and takes her back and says, you're coming with me, that's it. And it's just like, that's such a big moment, I feel like, because there she is staring straight into the eyes of the person that is indirectly responsible for her son's death and she has to choose to forgive her and to let that go. And I, I'm not surprised that Ezekiel and Carol broke up, um, but it was sad watching that conversation, her pretty much saying thank you for the time that we spent together and I'll, I'll never forget it obviously, but Carol is definitely a type that she needs to know who she is. She needs to have her place and know her place and know herself to be happy with somebody else. And it's been like that since the beginning of the series, so it's not surprising to me that, that they didn't work out for now. Who knows, they might get back together, I don't know. But, um, and then Negan saving Judith. Oh my god, I loved that whole sequence of him saving her. And, oh my god, it was so good, so good. And I love that Michonne actually thanked him and sat down to talk to him. And it was kind of supposed to just be like, all right, thanks for saving my daughter, adios, I'm going. But she sat down to talk to him. And I could see a weird friendship forming between them two. Not even, maybe not just like a, maybe not even a friendship, but like just some type of, respect as leaders for each other and I think he will be a key component in taking down Alpha. I really truly do and I cannot wait to see it. Season was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I loved it so so much. It was it's definitely one of the best seasons they've ever had on the show which is crazy considering it's nine seasons. It's season nine and this is one of the best seasons. Like that's a little bit weird because most shows like once they get past like season like five or so they start like not being very good anymore but this show is just they took it they they just took it up a notch this season i loved it but i think that's pretty much it i will see you guys next season or for fear of the walking dead thanks for watching